In this video, we're exploring the pros and cons of budget-friendly generic fitting in-ear monitors versus professional custom-molded and sometimes very expensive IEMs. Hi, I'm Ed from edthorn.com, here to help you decide which music production gear is right for you. This video comes in partnership with the fine folks at Cleartune Monitors in Florida, who supply outstanding quality in-ear monitors to suit all budgets for audiophiles, gamers, and professional musicians alike. We will be comparing their $99 single driver generic fit CE110s against their flagship 10 driver, yes, 10 speakers per side, custom molded, $2,600 DaVinci 10s. It should be noted that Cleartune monitors cater for all budgets in between these extremes, so definitely check out their website using the link in the description below. So what are the primary differences? Well, there's a few. Generic fit monitors usually feature foam or plastic earbuds. The CE110s host foam buds, which offer more acoustic isolation than plastic, but no way near as much as custom molds. Although generic fits provide some isolation, they are best suited to lower volume applications or where more ambient sound is desired. Custom molded IEMs like the DaVinci 10s are, as the title suggests, custom molded to your ears to create a tight seal over your entire ear canal. The fitting process requires a visit to an audiologist who will take your impressions. These impressions are then scanned and turned into a digital file that your IEM manufacturer can use to create your perfectly fitting IEMs. The acoustic isolation and acrylic construction of the acoustic IMs result in minimal sound entering your ear canal when fitted, and also, equally as important, minimal sound escaping. This helps improve the sound, especially in loud environments such as stages and band rehearsals, for which these are better suited. Personally, I find generic earbuds problematic on gigs because they don't isolate the low end enough in both directions. They allow a lot of the low end to leak in and a lot of the low end that they produce to leak out. So you end up in a volume war battling between the two, usually creating a muddy wash of indistinguishable low end. Custom molded IEMs provide the opposite, great isolation from external low frequencies and improved low end response in your monitor feed, resulting in a much more accurate and controlled sound. Now, things to consider at this point are, if you're an instrumentalist, you may like to hear the ambient sound of your instrument or amplifier on stage. Molds will definitely restrict this. However, of course, you can compensate for this and have more level in your IEMs as long as you are close miking everything. As a vocalist, molded IEMs can feel like you've got your fingers in your ears, which when singing can affect your pitching. But of course, you'll definitely be able to hear yourself better due to the improved isolation. So it should be business as normal. Hey, if you're liking this video, please hit the like and the subscribe buttons. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Now, most generic fit IMs are fitted with single armatures, also known as drivers, aka speakers. This does two things. It keeps the cost down, but it also limits the quality of the audio they can reproduce, because one speaker has to produce the entire frequency spectrum, and there's only so much one can do without requiring very expensive parts. Custom IMs are typically fitted with three or more drivers, which are optimized for specific frequency ranges using tiny little built-in crossovers. The drivers are then designated into groups to reproduce the sub and low frequencies, low mids and the high mids, and the high frequency ranges. More drivers result in improved separation between frequencies, and these Da Vinci's are unbelievable in this department. As a result of more separation in the frequencies, the separation between instruments is also far superior, creating a more accurate and enjoyable listening experience. A single driver will, of course, be limited in its performance in the low end and the extreme top end, whereas the Da Vinci's, for example, boast a super flat frequency response, albeit with a slight bump at 1 to 1.6 kilohertz. 
More drivers also results in improved stereo imaging. And again, the DaVinci's are exceptional in this department. I can hear and visualize exactly where things are panned, even if they're placed just five or 10 cents apart in the stereo spectrum. With multiple driver IEMs, I hear reverb tails and acoustics like never before. And if you're mixing, they highlight where frequency masking is occurring and where frequency ranges are cluttered. And of course, another benefit is the transient response and the resulting detail is just exceptional because no one driver is overloaded with information. The DaVinci's boast a frequency response from 20 and I'm genuinely hearing down to that all the way up to 20 kilohertz. And this combination of frequency, accuracy, focus stereo imaging, and detail in the audio effects, including compression and limiting, provides an unbelievable listening experience with unparalleled instrument separation. <laughs> And regarding aesthetics, generic IEMs come as they are packaged to keep the cost down. Custom IEMs are as customizable as you'd like, and Cleartune monitors offer a host of color and artwork options, allowing you to take your in-ears up to $3,000, which is what mine cost. And you even have the potential to vajazzle your in-ear monitors. That's definitely one for Instagram. Now in terms of cost, Various custom artwork options can push, like I said, these monitors up to $3,000. There is, of course, no need to spend that absurd amount of money. The IEM market is saturated with options ranging from $10, but personally, I won't bother with anything less than the C110s, which are $99, because you really do get what you pay for. And let's be realistic, the, the IEMs that are costing $10, come on, they're going to sound awful. Think about it. If you like the idea of custom molded in-ear monitors, most companies, including Cleartune monitors, have options of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and even nine drivers and 10 drivers per side, increasing in price accordingly. So there is something for every budget. Now, pretty much the only benefit of generic fitting IMs is the cost saving element, besides allowing for more ambient sound than molds. Personally, as a drummer and live sound engineer working in loud environments, I need molded earplugs to protect my hearing and isolate my monitoring for the high quality sound experience I want. Generic fits have a purpose. I always have the C110s as a backup, and they're a great place to start your journey in the world of isolated monitoring, because it is quite a different experience to using stage monitors or over-ear cans, and can take some getting used to. Now, it must be noted that an IEM mix is only as good as your sound engineer, and it is very easy to overexpose yourselves to high sound pressure levels with molded IEMs. So caution is advised. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. The video really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Check out the links in the description below. I've been Ed Thorne. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the next comparison.